right now is most interesting part we will create the different color line all the way how we can do that we need our lines and we will use it all the long way okay we need now len so we we need the len to understand distance of this line let me will use the panel and as you can see here is the distance of the line as you can see it's totally different distance of course because we have the different lines let's use not a lot of the lines right now i think uh, like around like 30 lines will be much a lot of for uh, for it's enough for us right now okay so we after that need b and d we need bounds what is doing the bounds bounds actually taking the numbers like the lowest number and biggest number and as you can see bounce is like a boundary okay and uh, we need the main also the deconstruct domain yes this one we need let me i will connect the bounce to the deconstruct domain and we will get two numbers not just like from the 6 to the 57 we will get separate one here the 6 here this 50 57 it's much better for us and uh, now we know the our lowest number and our highest number which is help us to create the gradient so let me i will use the gradient here is our gradient highest number it's here lowest number here highest number it's here and now we need just connect our distance here we have the distance as you can see let's connect the distance to the number here now nothing changing of course it's not nothing changing because we need to use the human let me I will use the human for that one but before i will do that i will hide everything i mean the line we don't need to see the line and now let's use the human we need the preview 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 line custom line weight okay our line where is that our line our line is here let's connect to the like uh, geometry now we can see the line as you can see it's the already different color but it's have just one one color but we want to use the gradient let's connect to the c now we will get the gradient you cannot see it's not so nice seeing as you can see this is one a bit red here is the a bit pink but we will make it much better right now and now we need the weights of our mm, line let me will use again 10 and we will change to the 4 thickness of our line and for it's too much to it's, it's it's okay for us okay now first thing let me i will increase number of the lines because 30 it's not uh, uh, not good for us right now it's uh, we already finished our script let me i will use uh, for example 60 at least or oh, 65 okay 65 is my be much better maybe even a bit more more like 72 okay so the next thing we need to change our gradient because our gradient uh, with this gradient uh, we cannot understand anything and let's change the position before we will change the position let's change the type of the gradient right click set preset change the preset and for example for this one or maybe for that one up to you this one is much better and now we can change the position for example once you're changing the position as you can see the gradient is also the changing the color why it's uh, the all of the line it's mostly white because actually our radius it's uh, where is the, our radius? Our the radius not so much. It's only 150. Let me I will change a bit the radius. Something like that. And now we can change the position. Yeah, it's working. As you can see. Here we can see the much better result. But uh, let me I will change the type of the gradient. For example, this one. And now you can see much better. And now as you can see we can change uh, we can see directly which is color or the showing the distance the blue color color so showing the farthest distance and the red one closest one uh, let me I will change uh, the data now as you can see i'm just switching the data different type like the start the start point it's the lowest one and the end point it's highest one and we get another gradation 
Now let's talk about most interesting part. It's the animate of a parameter. As you can see, when I'm changing the this parameter, changing the color. So automatically, let's say everything changing by this point. We now we just need change only this parameter, and if everything else will changing uh, automatically. Let's uh, right click and click animating, and let's save it somewhere. I will create the new folder where we will save our future video. Let's say it will be the, I don't know, let's say it will be animation. Let's say OK. And here's some the settings. Here you can see the, your resolution, frame count. So frame count will be like 200 for this way, for this longest way, it will be much than enough. And now we need only the one thing. We need just uh, click OK and just wait when once it frame count will be uh, go till to 200. Once you will start it, and now you can see the parameter and point automatically changing. Once you will finish it, let's see what we get. Here's the my folder and here's the animation. And as you can see, here's the pictures where you're animating your parameter. Now you can use any other software to just transfer your JPEG files to do some animation files. But I think you can find more better video I not will uh, recommend anything and uh, not will spend your time you can find it I think around the internet but the thing you can animate all the data what you want and uh, you can uh, animate for example your pathway whatever you want okay guys I think finish for this tutorial next tutorial uh, it's already not will be about exactly this uh, thing we will do some another thing also in Rhino also in Grasshopper and don't forget about the likes and share by this thing I can see do you like this tutorial or, or not do you want this this topic again or not so share this video and like it thank you guys for watching and see you next time